Hey guys, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, I'm back. Promise you my geek box. I have my geek box. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. It's just been delivered. I think by my Hermes, I'm not entirely sure. This is a first for it to be in a bag. Got my little guest star with me today. My little ratty. We call her wonky face. Because she had an ear infection that we didn't catch in time. It's all gone, but she's still got a little bit of a head tilt. Oh, say hi, monkey face. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> I'm back in my pop room so you can see my collection. Hopefully there's going to be one in here that I can put up there. Fingers crossed. Let's dive right in. I wasn't actually meant to have a geek box this month. But in my ultimate wisdom, I forgot to cancel the subscription and they took payment and it took me about two three weeks to get hold of them to finally freaking cancel it so i thought what the hell i'll keep it it's um nemesis themed this month which kind of i thought would be even better because i'm thinking batman villains i'm thinking doctor who villains i'm thinking resident evil so let's see what's inside Ooh. I got a knife to open it and I don't actually need it. Whoops. Ba 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 ba. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, the first item I can see is this bad boy Transformers mug. This is an Autobot. Ceramic mug. That is rather cool. I'm just going to get that out in a second. Yes. What are you doing? Ah, she's getting me. Ooh, ever since she was like this big, she's been obsessed with my glasses. Come on, I can't get in this thing. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Check it out. How groovy is that? I don't think you get much tea in that. <laughs> For my TARDIS mug that I got. Like this big. Ooh, it smells all new. I'm quite tempted to resubscribe next month because um, the theme is Toons and I love cartoons. It's like one of my biggest geeky, nerdy things. Um, oh, okay. This is quite a shock. Davros figure from the... Doctor Who figurine collection. How the hell did they get hold of these? This is a part work from Eagle Moss. It's part of the 50th anniversary. I already have this one. I started collecting them, but it got too expensive. So I decided I was just going to order the Doctors. So my instincts was right on a Doctor Who item. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've got the t-shirt here. I'm going to save that to last. Because we love a t-shirt. Ooh, oh, that's pretty cool. Nice little Hobbit coaster. Battle of the Five Armies. I haven't actually seen that yet. Naughty Geek. So I might have to give that a watch. This has got Azog the Defiler on it. What a charming looking person he looks. And with a nickname like the Defiler, I can only imagine what he gets up to. That's pretty cool. It's a, it's a hard wood, so it's nice and sturdy. I thought this would be like a set, but it's not. It's just the one. That's still pretty cool. I might re-gift that to somebody. I don't know. Ooh. Terminator Judgment Day card holder. Wallet with two pockets to hold all your cards. Well, what if you have more than two cards? Travel cards, debit cards, student cards, oyster cards, credit cards, lunch cards, cinema cards, and many others. Coming soon to a theatre near you. Many other cards. It's pretty cool. It's got the Skynet logo on it. Uh, I'm not really a big Terminator fan. Uh, hopefully the t-shirt will win out for me this box. Because it's been a bit... <laughs> so far. Um, yeah. I got an email saying that Loot Crate's on its way. So that'll be coming to you within a week. There's probably spoilers all over the internet already. But I'm still going to do my unboxing. Because I want to. 
why you gotta unbox so long? Because I want to. <laughs> okay, the last item in here is a Los Polos Hermanos notebook. Now, I don't watch it, but I can tell from the back this is from Breaking Bad. That is pretty freaking wicked. I'm always in need of a notebook because I collect autographs as a hobby. So this will be handy to send letters on. Mm, it's all the same paper, it's all lined and ruled. That's pretty cool. I can see why this was put into a bag, but it's quite packed. Um, okay, so we have Breaking Bad Notebook, Terminator, Skynet card holder, Battle of the Five Armies coaster, made out of wood, Use your noggin, Davros figurine. This is quite heavy, made out of lead, I believe. Uh, I believe. I think the magazine's up to about issue 51 so far. Um, and Autobot shaped mug. That's pretty cool. I was kind of thought I was going to go into a DuckTales type thing there, but I lost what I was going to say. And last but not least, the t-shirt. A lot of people said this is the item that's winning in the box this month. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very subtle. Very, very subtle. But still pretty awesome. Ta -da. It's got some pretty cool slices in there. I kind of looks like Freddy Krueger. A blood spatter and Project Nemesis. I hope the whole box wasn't based around this t shirt because it seems like a bit of a stretch. What do you think? Hmm? I can't hear you. Leave a comment. Oh, that's pretty cool. It says Project Nemesis Biological Warfare Umbrella Corp. That's pretty nifty. I guess these are all fan design. Not actual. Ooh, there's a loose thread. This t shirt looks pretty big. It's an XL. I like that they fit a bit bigger than they say. Because yeah, I like my clothes loose. Okay, well, that's it. That's, that's the, the box. That's all empty. Uh, can I go in here? Yeah. Ooh, I think she's going to. No, we're giving it to the cats. Okay, I shall see you in a few weeks' time. No, not really a week, more 7 to 14 days with Loot Crate coming at ya. I believe the theme is Heroes 2, their first sequel box. That better not suck. <laughs> and depending how my wages fall as well, because my hours have been fucking shit at work. Thank you, Domino's. Um, I may have an arcade block coming up. I got an email from them saying that this month's block is jam-packed. There's a pop, there's a Sonic item, there's two t-shirts, plus loads of other little goodies. There's an exclusive Zelda item, I think. So that's a definite must. Until then, bye!